Let's look at these geographic range problems as a whole. What are we actually doing when we solve these problems? What we're actually doing is we are accounting for the curvature of the Earth, right? We have a horizon. You can only see so far until the curvature of the Earth gets in the way. So we're going to say this is the horizon. And if you draw a line straight out, a tangent, and now if you're over here and you're on the Earth, how tall do you have to be to see over that horizon? That's what we're looking at here. So we could call this one the height of the eye. Say height of the eye. And then over here, let's say this is the height of the object. Height of the object. We need to know both the height of the eye and the height of the object because each one can each one can see so far to the horizon so if your height of that object it's a light in this case the height of the light like a lighthouse or a mass headlight on a ship or something how high is that and based on that height it can be seen so far until it the curvature of the earth gets in the way the horizon same with the height of the eye how high are how, what's the height of your eye? The higher the height of your eye, the further you can see before the horizon gets in the way. So based on that, what we're taking is we're taking the height of the observer, or the height of the object rather, so the height of the light in this case, and the height of your eye that you're trying to see the light with, and we're going to add those two up. So the height of the light or the object has a certain distance and then the distance of the horizon from the height of i to the horizon has another one and we're just going to add those up d1 plus d2 equals geographic range we can kind of use that we're not going to use don't be confused by any of this this is just for the sake of explanation. This is what we're going to do with geographic range. When, when a light is a certain height, it can be seen a maximum distance till the horizon, the curvature of the earth cuts it off. And same with your eye. It can be see a maximum distance from a certain height until it's cut off by the curvature of the earth. So if you have two heights, they can both they both meet at the horizon, and then we can figure out by adding these up what is the geographic range? So how far, given perfect visibility and a huge light intensity, say the light is intense enough to be seen and the atmospheric visibility allows it, how far could you possibly see that light? That's what we're doing in these problems. So we'll get the height of the lights or the object and we'll look it up on the distance of the horizon table and we'll record it. And then we'll look up the height of the eye given in the problem. We'll find it on the distance of the horizon table. We'll record it, and then we'll add them together. That's what we're going to be doing for these geographic range problems.